All right, we're staying on top of this breaking news we've been following closely for you all morning. Lanes are closed on Interstate 95 northbound in Laurel right now. John Gonzalez just arrived there to the scene. So, John, what are you seeing from the ground? Well, we're seeing a tremendous amount of traffic and take a look. We'll show you right away. This is 95 northbound. Just up there is where this incident occurred. Shots fired here on 95 in Laurel and right now all lanes heading northbound between the Route 198 exit and Route 216 are shut down. We believe that this will be the case for some time as police investigate this shooting. Now, here's what we know. They believe that a 28 year old man was shot at approximately 432 this morning. He was found outside of his own vehicle. The man was transported to shock trauma where he is currently receiving medical treatment for his injuries. But again, this is going to be a traffic mess for the entire morning. All lanes on 95 North shut down. We're going to spin the camera around and just kind of give you some perspective here. Take a look just behind us here. Just uh, before you get to Route 198 there you have or just past 198 there you have the entire highway here northbound shut down as police continue to investigate as for the shooting. No motive right now. No arrest have been made. And again, this victim who was shot right outside of his vehicle is in the hospital at this hour. That's the latest. When we get more, we'll bring it to you. Reporting live in Laurel, John Gonzalez, 7 News. Thanks so much, John. And as you just mentioned that they've been out there a while and could potentially be out there a lot longer. And as the time goes by, more and more cars hit the road. Still closes the northbound side of I-95 in Laurel, Maryland with lane closures on the southbound side and also rubbernecking delays. Closure points between the ICC and 216. My suggestions is to avoid it as much as possible. You can use 198, get on 7th Street uh, and then get back on I-95. Once you get around where that incident is, Route 1 also not as bad of a backup this morning and still an option for you. I'm back in less than seven minutes with traffic and weather together.